Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. So last year we got to put in this awesome Coleman Power Steel above ground pool and we just installed the pump that came with it. My wife told me that we needed to just stop messing around with that old filter and go ahead and do an upgrade. And this showed up. This is a, uh, a sand filter and pump for the pool. And what it does is it uses this pool filter sand uh, to run the water through and it acts like that filter cartridge. We gotta get the old pump uh, detached from the system, take that out, get the new pump installed, get it all put together and filled up with sand, and then we'll see if maybe we can get the, uh, the system circulating water through it. This is where we keep the old pump and stuff and hopefully the new sand pump will fit in here just as well. So now that we've got that out of there, we'll just grab this big box and see what we have inside. Alright, here we go, we've got some hoses. Right. Oh, looks like we got some instructions. And I bet this is, yep, the pump itself. And then this is the little valve that goes on the top of everything. And this here is the base. Woo! A little hose in there. We got a whole bunch of little bags of stuff in the, this container. There's that. So I'm assuming that this will fit right down in there. But it appears. We have a big hole, I guess for a drain plug. I bet it's exactly what this is. All right. So we'll put an O-ring on this side. Flat edge down. Yeah. Then we'll put this O-ring on this side. And that nut. Go in there. Now these are all plastic pieces, so they just need to be hand tight. They don't need to be over tightened. And this looks like a little cap, so we'll just slap this O ring on here. Screw it on just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, I think we have our first piece assembled. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like we got a couple of clamps. Alrighty. That. What is in the box? Ooh, a pressure gauge. Now let's open up another box. So this just turns a little open close valve inside there. Now for the second box, the motor, the power. Hey look, more instructions. All right, so it looks like We've got our little basket here. So this will catch any large debris that's coming into the system. It'll go through the pump, come out of here, and go into this valve right here. It says pump. So it'll come out of here, go into this valve, and then it'll come out of this one, which says pool, and go into the pool. Hopefully, if everything works right, It'll keep the pool nice and clean. Let's get this bolted down to the bottom plate and then start putting stuff together. But first, we need some tools. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, I'm back. So my wife took my car and it just so happened to have my tool bag in it with all my uh, screwdrivers. So we're breaking out 
the spare kit. If I can get into it. Why do they always make these things more difficult than they need to be? Hey look, all my tools are in a box. It's a toolbox. I bet it goes this way though, because then it kind of centers itself over the base. I bet that's what happens. I bet that's how it works. So we've got our four little nuts planted firmly in the base on the bottom of it. Now we'll just flip it over. We'll situate the pump on there. We'll get this one started. Phillips head screwdriver. Find your hole. There it is. Now that we got all four of those bolts in there, we can now tighten them down. Usually I like to do an every other one kind of thing. This guy, does it go any certain way? It just clicks into place. It looks like this will slide in and then do a little turn jobby. Just like that. Those little guys hold it on there. There, that ain't going nowhere. So that'll set in there like so. Now this guy has to be orientated towards the pump. Looks like we've got five of these and they're all about the same. I bet they need O-rings. You get an O-ring. And you get an O-ring. An O-ring. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. And then this little hose. And let's put on a clampy clamp. That'll push right on over top of that. And now, move our little hose clamps down and tighten them down. Just tight enough to hold it because we don't want to crush that plastic little fitting. So what I'm not seeing is how we're going to make these fittings fit on that hose. Take this hose off. By golly, if they're not the same size. Okay. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. This is just plastic. Maybe we can heat it up enough to make it want to give just a little bit. Oh, so close. A little longer than a few minutes later. <sighs> well, friends, I think it has beaten me. So it looks like a trip to the hardware store is in order. So we will pick this up on the morrow. A little booger. 24 hours later. Okay, friends, it's the next day. I've got a bag full of parts here from the local hardware store. I've got a uh, two inch threaded coupler here. I've got a reducer that reduces a two inch to an inch and a half. And then I've got a inch and a half coupler. Those don't go together, so I got a little inch and a half pipe. So this should screw onto here like that. This will screw onto the hose right here. All right, so what? <laughs> it's always something. All right, what's happening is this screws on to this hose, but the way that this works it is it has to pinch this hose down into that thread. And as you can see, there's a lot of give. So maybe what we can do is just sand down 
the edge of this thread so that it's smooth oh, for about a quarter of an inch before the thread starts. Then maybe that'll be enough to push down on this area and give it a nice firm grip. All right, so went ahead and sanded down the edge of all that and I needed a flat washer. I didn't have one, so I just grabbed it off of the old pump. It had a little lip around the edge. I just cut that off, and so that sits flush on there. Now this should screw on just like that. And now, good and tight. So we'll glue all these together, see if we can fit it onto the pump. Montage. have to do this one more time we'll be in good shape one minute 37 seconds later okay now that we've got both of our attachments glued up and done here's where we're gonna go with things one of them's gonna attach to here first we're gonna have to put a little rubber gasket on here so screw in and then the other one's gonna attach to the outlet that says pool. Now the big fat hose that goes to the pool will screw on to here. And we'll get rid of this little skinny hose. And then the hose that's coming from the pool will screw onto this one. And Lord willing, it'll all hold. The following Thursday. All right, friends, it's the next day. Um, we just got the little adapters built and created and it was getting late. My wife called me in for dinner, so. Leave it to me to make a 30 minute job take three days. Ah, it's not too bad. It only took me like five years to paint the mini barn. But I mean, what do you expect from a professional homeowner? Now, what else do we have? Ah, power. I don't know who in their right mind thought that we would be mounting a pool sand filter within four feet of the house. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take the wire off the old pump that's a lot longer and has the GFI built into it and we're going to uh, replace this wire with that one. I'll just take this cover off. You like my toolbox? Yeah. Classy, isn't it? Companies like this always give you extra parts just to confuse the, uh, the non-professional homeowners. Here we go. Look at there. Nice. So this will get a little bit of Teflon tape, which, oh, they included a lot. So this pressure gauge will slide right into this little hole right here. There we go. I think that'll work. All right, now you want to help me get this monstrosity into this hole. Okay. And then we'll, I guess, fill it up with sand. Yeah. Step one is getting started. You did that? Yes, we're started. Step two, attach the drain assembly. Yeah, I did that. It's right okay. there. Step three, attach the pump. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Step four, add the sand. I hadn't done that because it, okay. it's not in its place yet. I don't know if I can. Oh, kidoki. So, this hose is going to connect to here. Okay. So, if you could hand me that hose. This one? Yep. We're going to put this little rubber gasket in right there. And then we're going to. Now you think we should fill it with sand, huh? Come on. Tell me when to turn it off. Stop! 
So now we have to install the valve. And I bet that's what these are for. I'll go back in my hole. Oy, 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 oy. Ugh. Sure, I'm glad I made that opening small. So we'll slide that O ring around the top there. Set that right over the stand pipe. And then and just slide the bolt in through there, and the nut should fit squarely on the other side. You should be able to screw it in. All right, so we're going to open up these valves and fill it with water. So open up this one. Yes. I don't want to. You don't want to? It's on a button. Okay, now we'll switch this. Whoa. To backwash. Was that enough? Probably. All right, now we'll switch it to filtration. Ooh, it is so wet over here now. All right, and now it should start circulating the water through and out this hose. I feel like this is not a good point. All right, now I'll go turn the water back on. It all appears to be working. All right, friends. Well, we have a new sand filter and pump installed on the pool. It'll be all cleaned up in no time. What do you think, hun? It might take a minute, but uh, we're well on our way. So just a quick recap, we picked up the sand filter and pump from Swimline off of Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description down below. And uh, this is the 14 inch, I believe. It takes about 50, 60 pounds of sand. And uh, we used it to replace the original pump that came with the pool uh, because we were kind of sick and tired of trying to find those filters and cleaning them and uh, doing all the maintenance that was required with that. Uh, now we get to do maintenance that's required with the sand pump. Uh, but hopefully we won't be uh, searching for filters this year like we were last year. Uh, didn't really have much of an issue other than the hoses didn't quite match up. So if you have these big one and a half inch uh, hoses for your filter lines like we did, uh, just went to the hardware store, picked up a couple of adapters, a two inch threaded adapter down to an inch and a half and uh, a little bit of pipe and it all kind of went together fairly easily uh, with the exception of those two inches we had to modify just a little bit but nothing a little sandpaper can't fix and make sure that you put the sand uh, the stand pipe in the middle keep it covered up filling it with sand is kind of a booger oh. and and yeah so the 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 whole cable and cord thing I don't like how short theirs is because, well, number one, you're going to have a power connection really close to your pool and really close to all that water, and it can get dangerous when that's the case. Uh, so I went ahead and changed that out and put the long 20-foot cord with the uh, ground fault interrupter, the GFI plug on it. That way, any kind of water gets in there, it's gonna go ahead and trip that and keep us from getting electrocuted when we go to jump in the pool. I don't think it's a major, major concern, but it's enough that you know I had the wire and uh, it just took a couple of screws to pop that off and, and pop on the new one and we're in good shape. But yeah, I hope, uh, hope you guys can find some value out of this. If you liked this video, thought it was informative or entertaining at least, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe, see more of what we have going on on the homestead. 
I'm sure there'll be more pool videos in the future. People seem to like those a whole lot. I think we're up to almost 400,000 views on my first pool video. You realize that? So thank you all of you who have subscribed and watched the videos. Uh, it means a whole lot and has helped the, the channel grow tremendously. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.